If you're ever in the market to buy a pair of new speakers, especially if it's your first pair, it becomes apparent pretty quickly how many options you have to choose from. Uh, you've got point source, two-way, three-way, four-way, bookshelf, pre-built, towers, DIY, network connected, in-wall, sealed, ported, and does it have a phono pre? The options go on and on and on, and that's before you even get to the different brands and price points. If you're looking to buy your first pair of speakers, it can be pretty overwhelming. Hey everyone, I'm Kirby, this is Kirby Meets Audio, and today we're gonna to talk about passive speakers versus active speakers. We're taking it back to the beginning today to answer a question that might seem obvious to some, and the TLDR is this. Active speakers have audio signal amplification within the speaker enclosure, while passive speakers require audio signal amplification from an external unit. But does that really answer any of your questions? Yeah, pro probably not, so I'm gonna keep talking. There are definite reasons why you would pick a passive speaker over an active one and vice versa, so let's get into it. Well, actually, we should probably get this out of the way uh, just right now. Hey guys, this is Kirby from the future. I'm editing this video and I realized there's a bunch of white stuff all over my face. <laughs> it, it was pretty hot up here in the studio when I was recording this video and I was wiping my face off with toilet paper. D -d -d bad idea, don't do that. It, it flakes off and gets all over your face and you don't realize it while you're recording a YouTube video. So if you could just not look at the white stuff on my face, I know it's distracting, sorry, just, you know, look. Look at my broken teeth. How about that? <laughs> All right. Just wanted, right. back to the video. If you're looking for a small portable Bluetooth speaker to take outside or to the park or anywhere, um, something that looks like this, you're definitely going to get an active speaker. You, you want all the electronics inside the enclosure for a portable unit. What we're mostly talking about here today uh, are home speakers, something that you set up once and you don't really move around too often. All right, now we can get into it. Let's uh, talk about passive speakers. So just a little refresher, passive speakers require an external power amplifier to actually move the cones of your speaker drivers. So right off the bat, passive speakers require more than just the speakers themselves to operate. This is a positive for some and a negative for others. If you're the kind of person that really gets into the ins and outs of home audio, and maybe you already can't decide between which speakers or preamp or power amp to choose from, the ability to switch in and out those components over time can be a big part of the enjoyment of the audio experience. On the other hand, if you aren't interested in doing much research and don't really care about which components you get, the research part of setting up a passive speaker system could end up being more work than you expect or want. Pretty much all the benefits and drawbacks of passive speakers stem from the modularity it offers and revolves around your ability for control over your sound system. Because the audio amplification is done outside the speaker enclosure, you have the ability to upgrade your components over time. You can test new or old amplifiers, and although your speakers themselves really dictate a lot, uh, with a passive speaker system, you do have more control over the sound signature of your system as a whole. One other thing to note is knowing the quality of components when you build your system piece by piece. And that's not to say that active speakers aren't quality, but again, you have a little more control over time if you choose passive. If you're building your own DIY speakers, I would suggest going with passive, unless you already know you want to use DSP in an active setup. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, definitely start with passive. Speaking of active, let's, uh, let's get into those. Active speakers have most, if not all, of the electronics that drive the speakers built into the enclosures. This actually has a lot of benefits, the most obvious being ease of setup and use. Most of the time, the setup of an active system is simply plugging it into a wall outlet and connecting a source. After that, you rarely need to touch it or mess with it or do anything with it again. Next is, whatever the amplification and audio processing that is being done uh, was designed specifically for those drivers in that enclosure. Really good active speakers have so much going on behind the scenes to increase their audio quality, it, it sometimes seems like magic how such good sound can come out of a relatively small footprint of speakers. Although you can set up networking for a passive speaker system, a big draw to active speakers is built-in Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Uh, this kind of goes back to the convenience of some active speakers. They're usually ready to go with wireless connections. 
But all that convenience does mean less control. Well, if you aren't building them yourself, but that's a whole other video series. <laughs> so if you come across a really good deal on that Marantz power amp everyone's talking about on the forums, it's not gonna do you any good with your powered speakers. As with most things in audio, it really comes down to the type of listener you are and how you'll be listening to your system. If you don't wanna mess with too much setup and you'll be mostly listening to music around the house while doing chores or while you have guests over, an active system is a great choice. Or maybe you're always form hunting for deals on new and vintage gear and you're trying to spec out your new listening space. A good pair of passive speakers is probably the way to go. Or you can be like me and play around with both. I got Sonos for around the house and some nice DIY passive speakers for my listening space. Um, there's really no wrong answers here, to be honest. <laughs> but do your research, uh, like more than just watching this video. All right, in my last video, I said I was gonna give away a free speaker kit and the winner is, I don't actually know who it is yet, but they're right here. If you want a chance at winning a kit, just subscribe, hit that like button or the dislike button. It's totally fine with me. If you hate watch me, <laughs> just uh, subscribe and do it consistently. And then leave a comment. I'll announce the next winner in the next video. I do really appreciate all the comments in the last video. I was feeling the love, uh, even though I, I know most of you were doing it just because you wanted to get something free, but it's okay. I'll, I'll take the love any way I can get it. All right, go check out kmakits.com. Uh, you can get free speaker project plans down in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm in my underwear. Good thing you can't see.